Hello everyone and welcome back to Chill Gaming. This is part 7 of Final Factory Tutorial Let's Play Guide. Uh, last time we had a whole sprawling mass of this bus and it was going further along here with some basic production etc. I've changed it around a bit and as you can see now the bus is more compact. And what we've got here, this is a, um, an ore depot. You'll have three of them eventually and we'll have to change where they're coming in because there's obelisks in the way but uh, because this game is a modded game achievements are disabled etc I might delete this move this get the towbot mod on and move these out of the way um, just pull them up out of the way so we can use all of this then because the buck site buck site is going here to this one and if we have one of these it's probably going to clash we may have to put it along here somewhere on this one and leave a little gap and then get the cargo to just move it to this section here so if it comes down to here uh, what we could do is use this top one to here and then just put a cargo tube straight down to here that's the easiest way to do it one it'll be trickier to do the um, where is it now this one because it's got to come down on the third one which will be further out here somewhere and then the plan will be is you come down with tubes to it and then you ferry it across all the way up to here to this one here with the cargo um, of the oars as we get there so um, yeah and what it's doing now this is the basic processing so all of this is making the medium density and then this one's just a copy and paste but it's making low density and again the same thing here to make AI chips and then what the difference is is these are actually coming out to a logistics bay and then they are adding to the bus as you can see it's come down an extra three and this one here is basically the output of um, the first production which is the plasma engines and we can add to this etc but they're coming out here feeding into this logistics bay and they are feeding to research labs, a mining and the bat production. What we've got to put down here somewhere is a little shipyard soon so they can all start sitting in the shipyard. This is the new feature, the blueprints that I made. Uh, I, it looks a bit complicated but it's basically a mining, it's mining this Buxite asteroid that's feeding into the top and the bottom cargoes. It can be expanded with bots so you can keep up demand. So if we look here you can see it's all Pretty much, yeah, let's go across here. There's a hundred sitting in there, not enough sitting here, but they're slowly moving across. So if I click this and then went to this one, put them all in. Now, what will happen is this will transport across to this and it slowly fills up each one of these. This then feeds the engine, they both feed into the engine here, so this always remains full. And then it runs along the whole lot, filling up each one. And then you click here till, until they're all full, it won't move. And then what I've got over the other side is a storage depot that I'll show you in a moment. And if you click the command center, I've called this the Bucks Mine one. The storage area is Bucks Storage one. It's going to sit here till its inventories are full. And then it moves to Bucks Storage and empties it. It waits until it's emptied. Let's quickly head over to the Bucks Storage. As I say, that's sitting on the buck site um, logistics bay that then feeds this processing area here and it runs down with I don't even see behind these it comes out of the logistics bay to a little storage and then it's inserted bots to junctions and then another storage and then straight to the processing and it's similar the way I've done it and this is the, um, the mining depot as I showed you earlier on and what happens is the ship will land here and the uh, cargoes are full in line and they'll all be transported out because the cargoes are running around the way they're coming out it'll constantly keep refilling until the cargoes are emptied and then it comes into this which is another storage and it feeds straight into this uh, logistics bay and this these cargo inserters will transport it to this um, logistics bay to feed the factories etc so that's how it works now if I want to um, add more processing which I may have to do it'll uh, spice things up a bit because I basically delete these two put them the same way around so it comes from this logistics bay to this logistics bay etc etc 
and then run off another one once you've got past all of this or what I might do is run it from here this way till it gets past the ore processing that we have so in other words you get this processor and this processor out of the way and then when you get here or over here even or past this oracle I could have another processing but up so instead of them all being pointed downwards I can point it upwards and it does the same thing, it still feeds the line so this, instead of running this way um, well no, that will carry on running this way because that's feeding it it just joins this, so it feeds this logistics bay and then carries on and that's how it works you just add to it but it's how far to go, now we could um, you know, not feed too many more but make small little compact buses like this Defeats the object, but you could have a load of haulers. There's nothing stopping us. And the other thing that we're going to build, uh, hopefully this time around, will be. Uh, let me see now. So if I press E, we can actually produce the cargo holds, but they need uh, singularity field generators two cargo holds, that's what they require. So, Singularity Field requires mass energy converter, six AI control circuits and a fabricator. So we need to start making this, which is at low density and robotic parts. Robotic parts just needs medium density, so we can start producing these now and add it to the bus line. And that's the other one, and that's robotic parts and medium density. So again, it's all fairly we're fairly able to produce it. Does that one need? Yep. So, go back to this and we also might need to start producing these. But we can't process the ice yet. Because to do ice we need... Uh, let's have a look here. What do we need for this? Planetary research. Oh, excuse me, I just had a coughing fit. Right, um... <clears throat> so yeah, planetary research. So we're going to either go here, to say or up here like last time. We're really in between. Way to go. It's just going to be harder. The enemies are much harder up there than they are here. So what we will do, instead of sprawling out everywhere, we'll put around this some sentries. And just have it as a mobile thing. We'll stick the ship factory probably here somewhere. So it's kind of central, so they can feed this and then go straight up because this is the silicon asteroid and it's going to pop soon. That's the back side that will pop as well. So we need to get up here, but we've got to clear these out. So in order to do that, we've got to build a battleship. And the battleship that I'm going to use is a friend of mine called Yubi. He made, um, he calls it an ectoskeleton ship, but this is what it is. And it basically has four engines. The command core, defense um, platforms with drones, it uses some artifacts, four of them. Around the edge here are all the lasers, and they have to be fed materials, etc. And an exploration bay here. So, yeah, it's five engines actually on there, and a station core. So that's what we're going to use, and it, it feeds in <clears throat> from the back here. You can see these little logistics bay. So we will have to build a dedicated... Um, let me find it now, it's in here somewhere. Uh, this depot. Now he feeds it ice. So we're in a kind of catch-22 because we need the ice. But to get ice we've got to get some research stations over here, which is something we could do. We could try and manually clean this out. Maybe put a, one of these defence areas here. Or another two. Wipe these out if we can. And then run a line along here. Try and drag them into the defence area. Before we do any of that, we've got a, set, a station here that's supplying. This is the old one because this used to be built here. And these, what are these building now? So these are making logistics space, so that can stop. Stop. That's feeding these. So all of these can stop. These will be deleted probably after I finish this video. And you'll see they'll just stop. <coughs> Is that going up at all? No, that's feeding this here. Which is, is this full? Right, so one of them's feeding that, so we've got to leave that one running. 
but we can disable that one. So that's full. That's full. So what we could do is run it that way around. Just to feed those. Get rid of that. Um, get rid of that one. And that one. So now that's made these kind of null and void. That's got low density that's feeding that, so um, these are not being used anymore. Right, yeah, so what we can do here, eventually we'll take these down. Let's take that off because I might need that. Near them I've only got one, so um, we're going to put one of those on. Take some of these out. Some of the power. No, need some more power. Let's put in another one there. Do that. Do that one. Doesn't it? Right, so let's take that off, that off, that off. Can I put on there some solar panels just to keep this quiet? There you go. That'll do. So now that works. And then what I'm going to do is go up to. I want to delete this station. But where we see any of these that have got a decent heat sink on that we need, like that, just take it off. And you should be able to just put one of these on. down and around the I'll change that one because it's got station core on it that's got 20 inside of it I'm trying to make sure that the drones are all full and working I've done pretty much most of them by the look of it can't see any of the flashy heat sinks that I'm after what that's got on it. That's got the standard, so it'll stay there for now. As you, you can see, we need these heat sinks for the production. They're just much more efficient, so we've now got two. Okay, right, let's see how that's doing. It's still filling, and as you can see, it's full at the top now. There's still the odd gap here, by the look of it. Is there one that isn't full? That one. But then that's filling something else. That's full. Interesting. That's full. That's full. That's full. That's full. That's full. That one isn't. Neither is that one. Why are they not filling up? It should stop, shouldn't it? Maybe we should just take this off of here. Maybe that will fill them up. Perhaps it's the circle. We'll have to trial and error it. I don't fully know why it's not working. But now these should start filling up a lot more. There you go. So hopefully that will make that move. This drone here, this inserter, is for when we add. As you'll know, if you're not producing enough, if there's it's constantly empty, which it is, you could, in theory, uh, let me see if I've got, I've got some, so you could leave a gap, do one, two, three, and then the fourth there, add a, one of those, and put a cargo across, join that one with the cargo, Actually, you can just take that out. Stick a strut there. So they're all powered when we do it. And then have the. Um, let's make, can we make a few of these? And then 
we've got some junction. See what we have. So we could come out of here. Got junction there. Junction there. Got junction there. Okay, out of that to that. Out of that to that. Out of that to that. Then put tubes maybe from there to there, from there to there. Stick on this some power. There you go, so now these will start producing, the oil will come out of this. There. It will then filter. Oh, hang on, we're going to have to do the tubes across, actually. And there. Oh, actually, no. Um, they should all produce their own. Let's see if it works now. Here they come. And this will then replenish this one that's not got a huge amount in it. So those two feed that, these two feed this, so we can now change this round. Because this has got one, two, three, four feeding all of this. You want all of this four. So what you need to do is that storage will have to be full. So we have to take some of this away from here. And rotate it round. Get rid of that one. Put that on. So now this will top anything up here from this lot as well. And then as that's full, which it is, with this will then fill. This will just backfill because of the sheer volume of ores coming up here. Now why isn't that moving? It's full. Hang on. That. It's a full inventory, so why is it not moving? There you go. It's a lot faster now than it was, so that's going to run up to here, and it should just start filling this up. Let's watch it in motion. It's quite cool, actually. Now you don't have to fill these, it'll be very, very slow though if you don't. Right, that's not landing because its orientation is wrong. So if you go into it, see these arrows? They tell you the orientation. Now, I want to try that one, see if it's that one. There you go. So you set the angle you want this to land at. It was landing the wrong way around, which is why it didn't, didn't land in the first place. But then you can just change it here. And when you do these, you can set up all conditions, add new land zones, create new ones, etc. etc. Now that's feeding this, that's feeding this, that's feeding the actual production here. As I say, I will probably change it around at some point. But that works a treat, and this will now format, not necessarily this one on the end here, but the four with this uh, depot on it. Will now be the basis until um, it be the basis of the mining until we can build these, which are the much larger depots, and those blueprints. Uh, UB did one, so if I find it, that's my one. That's my one. Let me see if it's on here. No. That's the one. It's actually one done by Yubi, but I modified it. So you can see it's all larger storages and they all feed into each other. And this then feeds uh, the... Um, this is where it comes in from the ship. And uh, it goes through this command center to the logistics base. Which then feeds your bus, basically. That's what it'll turn into, which is vastly different to this. Cargo ones, you have to have so many of them to achieve nowhere near the same result that that does. Um, the other thing we're going to do here is... We're, there you go, that, that's now blown up. So you press Control x Get rid of these.
collect everything that you can, if you can. You might need to build some um, some little cargoes to store everything in. Now that will in there. Right, that's empty, so we take that away. Take that away. Take that away. So that's now a dev roid. These will all be full. Hopefully they will empty, and then all of this now is null and void. So we can delete a lot of it. And this is now taking over. So as we need more and more low density, this will then now start to supply it. Until that asteroid runs out. But the next one we've got to do is up here. We've got to get up here now. So uh, we need... Can we build... How many of those do I need for his ship? Oh, can I make five? Uh, let's have a look here. These ectoskeleton things. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, cool. So I've got to make five of those. Five engines. Let's see how this is going to work out. So one, two, three, four, five. Engines. What do they need? Uh, plasma engine parts. Mass energy. Now they have been made up here, I do believe. Um, go to that. Let's grab a stack of those. That I would have thought. No, it's only medium density, that's why it's not running. So if we put It's medium density from it's obviously here, isn't it? If I put some medium density in there, it'd probably be easier for me to just do it's just not worth the effort, is it, to do it? Um, right, how many of those can I make now? Eight, so one, two, three, four. Five. Five of those. What else do we need for that? That's the wrong key then. <laughs> okay, what else do we need? Um E. So that's gonna use so the singularity is the power. Oh, with something we can't produce here are these storage boxes. How the hell do we make those? See, high density structure. That's organics. So it's going to come down to basically before we can start making the ship to clear them out. We might have to manually do it. We've got to clear these out, put some planetary research down, and then get up to this. The question will be. We haven't got a lot left in that. So we need to be thinking, right, what ships... I think the combat ships definitely use... Um, yeah, they use the silicon. So, let's go and have a look here. So if I have, have I got enough of the exploration? I've got two and two. So we need to make some more of those. One, two. One, two. Two. Two got power uh, what are we missing here salt I think we've got plenty of the stuff so let's now run where's the nearest enemies to this probably need let's just see if we can kill some thin the, thin the herd out of it come right back out here and then I'll swamp you You 
You don't want to get too many of those on you at once. They are suds. Nothing like these little suds, are they? Easy to kill, but they don't have to rain your shield quick if you get hundreds of them. Just sort of got to kite them a bit. And then you'll get in and destroy these bases because they keep respawning. So. Huh. Bring this down a little bit. So, where did I start? The other area down here that's expanding beyond belief. Down there in a little while, let's kill these off. Alright, what I want to do is pick this one down. Like so. And then. Trump C. Grab that. But it's, it's just kind of within range of it. If you go to it, you move your mouse. Uh, WASD. So you can get it range. So like that, and then do another one. So it's a cover in the planet like that. So I like to come down a bit. It's going, and then this one. It's got to cover that station a bit to there. Excellent. Now these will start once they're full. So I'll throw a bit of protection. And because you've got the exploration, it's revealed the fog, so the bases can't spawn. But these will now attack these instead of this one's and this mining setup. So we'll let that work and then that will regenerate. What we need to do is stick another one of these here, this side, which means dragging these out. I can go here and get, get their attention. Come on. These will now attack them and I'll help them. We'll wipe them out just like that. The whole load. I'll take this on the side for that. Those there. See, it spawns not only the enemies but the bases quite regular. This is the end of them, good.
actually a, um, a double whammy because um, this is clearing a path to the star which we'll need anyway at some point right okay so click that now if we do control C Get up to kind of the area. Move your mouse. Okay. Let's get no choice but to go over right here somewhere. Not sure why well, they're attacking up this high, but they are. Turn it down a little bit. We've now basically got the planet. So if we now produce um, planetary research stations, we'll do three of them for now. Let them build. And it's the same kind of thing, you put them here. I don't, I can't remember, I think these require more than just these, do they? Yeah. So what you've got to do is stick a station core down. So you basically, can put, let's change this a bit, around a bit. So if we put the station core down, say, there, run a strut out. These can only connect one way, can't they? Uh, right, so let's redo this again. So if we put a station core down, one that way, and then there. Actually, I wonder how far out you can put them. Let's rechange this. So I've got three of them, so if we put one there. Station core down. Can that go on there? Will it work? No. Well, then it has to be strut. Then station core. And then. Let's see if this will work. One there. Where are you? There you are. One. There. Connect them with struts. Now they need not only do they need this heat sink, which we'll put there. Hopefully it'll be enough. Um see how much power they need. Maybe on there, I'll put a stick on here for now. Alright, these are gonna need a lot more power. Which do they actually need? Let's have a look. They need 28. These produce. Uh, 5. So you need to uh, 25, 30, 6 of them basically. We could now. I don't know, what else should the antimatter use? That'd be easy to put one of these on. Sticker and antimatter on. 
We're picking the wrong one, one of those. Now we need a sail or something. Oh. Actually, get rid of that way. Stick the other way. And right, so now that's waiting for the box. Come back here. Basically, got to change things around. So, what do they need to make those? So, we need recycled asteroid research, insert of bots, a fabricator. Oh, interesting. So, that's oh, so another whole load of production to get these. Can I make any myself? because we need the recycled that's where this thing comes in ship reprocessing plant so we've now got to build those as well but we've also got to get up here to this area here so we've got to go diagonally from here So we started the ball rolling, so if I now do control C. Um, let's go this way. So it's just covering. There, and then up. Can't win here. We've got to clear some of these out. So, C. What's up here? It's in the way. Now uh, grabbing spawn. So I'll clear these out of the way a minute. your eye on your um, shield, it's the little green shield thing there you can see in the icon at the top. If it gets too um, low you'll, you'll lose loads. I've already lost 10. Not from this fight but from all of them. It depends what setting you've got on. I adjusted mine because this is a custom game. Come back down here. Control C. Want to go up? About there. Turn this down a little bit. That one fill up. C. Clear these out a bit.
That's where they're all coming from as well. I will spawn. Obelisk up there as well, so we have to build another defense platform. This bog's not rebuilt, so I've got no choice. All I'll do is spawn again, so right, control C. Made of iron. No, so I've got to go back to the base. Let's go down here so the hold is still working well. What do I need for those? So we need medium density. So if I come down here, find the medium density. That one, just grab a load. This one has to start them making more. So, one, two, one, two. Grab another load for good measure. Alright, let's go back up here. I've got to stop looking for some repairers on these ones that are out of range. Just in case they get attacked. Find that down and then get a repairer to that. And put it on that side there. So it gives it some survivability. That's covering it, and then this one's gonna go up there. If you put your hauler down here, they will just decimate it. It's right near them. Just a few more. Let's see if I can get up here and kill some of these off. Attacking this. What's going on with this? Why is this not working? Strange. It's So uh, I think we've run out of our drone production, my guess is. Just 
kind of annoying. And that drones ourselves as well. Bonus. Please. I have a bit of luck. Yeah. Go down here. We need to bring another one of these up here. I'm just going to probably try and take these on. down a bit. Well, a lot of spawns right there. Activate this. Saves. That's opened up the um, this is forever gonna be produced enough to go there. So if we get down now a another um or depot, no it wasn't that, it was mining depot. Rotate it round. Try and fit it this side. There. Get it built. It's about keeping them at bay, which is brilliant. That's what we want. hope is that they don't respawn up here. Now we've activated this, they shouldn't. If they do, this is susceptible to it. We need to make a whole load more of those. How we do? Let's pull these.
do is let this build. So these two, including that one, will change this round like the other one eventually when we add to it. So that's waiting now to reduce some of those. Right now that's ready to roll and here come the little bots. So leave that to work in a magic and then what we've got to do is build another um, that one? No. Oh yeah, that's one, isn't it? So uh A put that there. Don't have to build a station call. Any engines here, we've got plenty of engines. Wait, that one. Wait, that block. Roll over those. What to take? Um, these out. That one out, that one out, that one out. And then stick that back here. And then up this one here, we put in another, just to be junctions really. Actually, no, what we could. We think here, yeah, I don't want to play this. Get that out, get that out, get that out. We then. How big is that engine? Put that there. Have that running down and into it, that one running the other way into it. That gives us our power. These then can have storages that are connected by tubes. So run straight up. They're all running that way, they're all running this way. We don't need that to be put on there, we can just put another block there. Excellent. So I need to go and get some more materials. You can see the silicon asteroid is no more. And the iron we've got 41,000 left. Okay, right, so we're back up here, let's complete this ship. And then what we're going to do is you click the command call, you say add new landing zone, rotate it round where you want it to land, and it's got to, you'll see it'll all line up with these. Like that. And that's where it lands. Weight condition is the inventory. And we go down here and build. Actually, let's finish this off. Um, grab myself some bricks. Eventually, I might put lasers on this at some stage. See how it works. There, so that can feed them. What I'm going to do is while that's like that, I'm going to go into my early one and delete it. Ralph C. And save, call it hauler dash cargo one. That's what the little cargoes are. Save. And then quickly come down here <clears throat> and build another depot. 
The first one's here, as you know. Silicon is used here. The silicon will ideally is getting its feed from yeah, this one here. So we need to build another depot. Uh, let's grab that. So the depot needs to go. It's going to have to go here, isn't it? So it's due to the sheer size of it. I suppose I could flip it round, have it the other way round, have a left and a right one. rethink this a bit because if it goes in on the top one there it's going to be kind of annoying so I could run it down these or can I run out this way um, let me think how I'm going to do this I'm going to have to run it to that one, I think. It's going to be the easiest way. Probably the safest way to do it, I suppose. Well, actually, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to let that build. A load more of these, a load more of those. What it's going to do is take out of this, go into that one. Ships as well. The storage containers. It'd be a lot quicker if I had more construction bots. <laughs> uh, more of those. Just start the ball rolling and then we stick the construction. Uh, storage bar here and then you can run that straight into so what we could do instead of using this one we get rid of that these are all taken out going along what they're doing they're all going to the end one so what you could do is take that off of there tell it you want to go the other way some more of them. So these are all feed in the same way and this is feeding back. Maybe do half of them. Like so and then these are all coming down which is what you want. And then what we could do is see here um, could I put junction on there could work junction there and then stick another storage I've got one if I have yeah to there, there to there, there to there, that way we've got two out, and then what we've got to do is find out where it is which is here, 
so it's feeding into this one here we then need to get some like that like that like that like that and then what happens here is they're fed out and in so junction work should have a junction that way Let's get rid of that a junction that way all that works is put something in and grab some of this oh it does cool right so then get rid of that one junction there That's got power sitting on that. We'll try and rotate one now. Now. Right, that should work. That's all built. We'll call this um, jump over here to this ship. Thankfully, we've still got enough silicon in the Gold, haven't they? Come on. Right, so that's going to What's this landing zone called. As we call it silicon dash one. Dash one, that do Save it. This then has got to go um, add an existing landing zone, silicon mine one, condition, full inventory. That's got to point down. And we tell it to add a new landing zone. Zone is going to be called silicon dash depot. So go back up and make the ship add condition empty inventory enable transit. This name is going to be silicon. Dash That's going to go up here very slowly until it gets some ore into it. I haven't got any small silicon on me, so I can't top it up. Got some silicon, so I can now go to this and go control and speed it up. Alright, having an issue. Let's fix it that way around. See, sometimes it doesn't remember the way you put it in. So, what's going on here? There's something not right here, so that. to that. There's two pots here. I wonder what that is. Let's control that down a little bit. 
Let's just leave him out of here. It's filling up nicely, so that should hopefully work. Excellent stuff. Right, now what we've got to do... Where's our nearest metal mine? It's here. Got one there, got one here. It's got two here, so this is where we're going to go. That's a buxite. That's a metal one as well, isn't it? Yeah. So that was nice and near. That's where we'll get our next mine going. The iron ore that will replace this one. But you can see how it's going to work. So this, everything is. Uh, let's see, is this getting enough? This should be getting enough because they're all being produced here. So we've got enough in the line here, and it's running out down here now. So these will all become null and void now. So if I go over to this, the control X, just get rid of those. Control X, get rid of those. Make some more of those uh, working ships tonight. A few more of these. Okay, control X again. Let me take this lot out. tricky <laughs> you don't want to delete the cargoes go above it and there you go so that's how it works the next one to go will be this one that's 40,000 away we're not using huge amounts yet this here is all got to be deleted because these are it's in use anymore gold x rid of those Anymore, so I'm going to get rid of this. Take a from X and get rid of all of this thing here. I'll eventually put these into little storages somewhere. Okay. Cargo can go, cargo can go, cargo can go. So this is all the same, control X. Do that, put some down. Still got a hundred, so get rid of that one. And this is all still got stuff in. Right, okay. So eventually this will phase completely out be this one that takes over. So how much storage is what we've got sitting in the storage? 
That's quite a bit sitting in there. Be interesting to see how this performs. As you probably find we're not bringing enough in, and there'll be a bottleneck of these. That's just the way it is. What I'll probably do with this is change this around so they come down here. Actually, so it fills all of these up, and then halfway down or at the bottom here, I'll bring them back this way and then feed it down here. And instead of this supplying the line, it'll be this one that supplies it. It'll just join these up. And then this will be null and void unless we go this way. Can't do any real research. It needs to... Oh, we've got some planetary research done. So will that work? Will that start? These go in. Strange, isn't it? It's saying new research required. So, what's it after? Has it done it already? Oh, wow, cool. That needs some more planet research. I wonder if they passively get it, even though you're not actually researching. Well, that's handy. That's going to open up some new possibilities for us. We can now produce the comic catch and stuff. So let me have a look here. What, we can't make those yet. Can't make those because we need the recycle thing. I suppose what I could do. How does this recycling thing work here? So that... That thing, that's a monster. Um, if I put... I don't know, uh, let's say we put that there. I'm just tr trialing this thing. Now we've got to recycle, what is it we need for those? Recycled asteroid research. So you tell it you want that one. Then they've got to come out somewhere to feed another one of these research labs. Let's say there. But you want to make that. So that's going to need the recycled, the inserter bot, and the fabricator. Right, so we're going to need a whole shebang to put that up. Okay, right. Can't do that just yet. So we're still producing enough ships by the look of it. So I'm going to do another. Uh, well, I've got one built already actually. I'm going to put this, like I said, around here somewhere. Somewhere central. So maybe out of the way of that bus. So we'll stick it there. Now this is going to have solely. Sixty. So we've got a buffer of the um, combat drones, and then these up here. Going to be adjusted, so they have say. Um, and we got those, so we want at least 30 of each. So that's 60, so that's zero, that's the maximum. And if I go in here and take out X, so that replenishes my little stock. Now, what will happen is the research ones and the miners will come out and fill that one up. And this has already started filling up with the, uh, it's got 14 of the 60, which is what you want. So now that will supply some of these. It won't be enough, but that's what we've got to do. Now we've got five lumen. Let's click this thing and uh, buy ourselves some more. So 
so many we got here. Got two of the speed increase. Need another one of the crafting in speed. So we've got two of each now, so we could do another speed. So we get a bit quicker. Excellent stuff. Right then. So what we're gonna do um, I guess now is to try and figure out the next stage to go because we, we want to build um, that battleship. This one here, this, uh, let me find it again. I need to lose on it. Uh, it's like this, is, this text so small on my screen, it's very hard see it but um not that one that's the other it's a, a ship for later on it's the ectoskeleton thing isn't it um that one yeah we need the medium storages which is why we can't do it so what we could do again that needs medium storage we're gonna have to build the comet catcher want it out of the way somewhere so let's have a look here enemies down here there's some space here we can put it maybe so if I build one two one of those what else does that need solid state laser medium density again Another one. Let's see what we've got in our blueprints to make some of this stuff. So if I go into um, organic. No, that's no good. Early organics. So that's a very basic one. If we can make that, which has not got the what we could do with is that one with the um, helmet catchers in that. Anyway, right, let's stick some of these down so the helmet catches that. So you've got to remember where the arrows are coming in. If you your ship like mine now, if you put that down and it's active, when a comet comes in, it'll destroy your ship in an instant. So put this somewhere where you not got to worry about it so much. So I'm gonna put one there. Maybe two there. Connect them with a the strut, I think. There they work. Then uh, the other part of it, which is that, which is the harvester. Yeah, and there. It wants power now. Right, so we stick a. Let's see, how much power does the thing need? How many of these will power out, I wonder? One. That was easy. Um, can I stick on one of these? How many will it need? I don't like that, does it? Right, this is going to need a station then, so I'll take some of these off. We'll get a station on this. Station there. Run up the cargo tubes, that comes out. Tell that we're going to put a. one of these on. Enough to power it, so 
gonna want some sort of storage so if I can make a whole load of these. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. This is until we get the medium storage. So if I go there, 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 there. Oh, that's going to be ice. That's going to be ice. And you see the asteroids come in, make it processed, and it feeds out all of this ice. I might have to stick another power around in. how quickly these fill up and then what we would do is probably add another hauler on this or feed it in depends on what we want to do so if we look at this organics now these blueprints we've had um, we've got that style but we can't produce that that's an upgraded uh, factory so what's this one look like so again it's the same that's very basic, but that will do the job. So if we come out of this, entirely sure um, how he's done this. So I'm going to put that there. Control that. And that build a few more of these greenhouses. I'm trying to understand how this works. So that needs organic compounds. Right, so we have to go out and get some asteroids. This needs ice. Oh well that's easy enough. So if we done what change this around at some point, not yet though. The, uh, I need to do the organic compound. Um, so if you do one of these like that, to there, and to there, and maybe um, get rid of that one, that one, and then maybe store them. Let's find it again. Where is it now? There it is. That above. And then tell that to have the same tubes. So, organics is coming out. Oh. And organics is coming back in. So, so that's organics. That's that. Okay. And then if we actually want to take one of those off and stick it on a cargo tube if it'll allow it. So we're going to now start to get more than we need. Um, let's see how much power is this thing going to need? I thought. So this can't be connected like that. It's going to have to be a drone. So this needs uh, one do it. No. 
So let's go use one of these up, these Anango radiators. some solar like that right then what you gotta do is go out and look for the twinkly little asteroids that are around there's some up here so let's go up here and you'll see you can't miss the things uh there they are these are the asteroids you got in mind then we're gonna broom my bag there go in the middle of them and right click and it gives you organics and ice this is your seed in stock, so what you get here you put in that little factory and it should just self-replicate it. Put it down here. To go to this one here that needs the organics for it, and then just click. click. That then should start the process. So here they go, they're coming out. This has got ice to produce that. It's now fed everything up. So why is that not producing? What else does that need? Oh, and it needs organic compound. So. Right, so what we'll do is we'll take some of this back. I have to go and get some more. We don't need enough power this thing, does not it? Alright, I wanted to stick a, a one of those mines on it. That's self-feeding that one. Has he got this? So these need organic compound. That needs it to make. So maybe he's got these around the wrong way. Turn that round. Well, that to be that. That then comes up here, up to there, that. And that's all trying to bring it back to this. Not cutting. Let's sort this out because it doesn't like this, does it? So, another one of these. Definitely a hungry thing, this. Right, like that. It should also start to become. Um, any ice coming into it. Right, so, we'll do another one now. If we do that, that up. Bit of power. Stick an insert a bot on. Hang on, stop your insert bots first. There, tell that you want it to be nice. Don't run that, it's there. And now start up again. Plenty of ice in it. There you go. Now what you should see, these stay on, it feeds this, this feeds the rest of them. That's how it works. There you go, it's coming through now. These are all filled up with the um, organics, and now it's filling this up. That's what I 
a good stick here as a storage. Let's uh, put that there. That on it. Uh, I'm going to have to stick a uh, another station down. Like so. That stops the power issue. Let's get rid of these drones. Alright, so now that's filling this up. It's creating enough of those. Hopefully, this. It's not enough, is it really? How many sitting in there? So that's having all of that. need to readjust this because it's definitely there's 11 sitting in there so because that needs organic sure this is making it it's coming out read this one that needs it it's stored it's going into this one that needs it this isn't producing anymore because it's got 11 sitting in it can't produce enough because it has to send it to this one. Maybe this should be here. I don't know, I've got to play with this. This is producing enough of those. How many do they use? Four. Yeah, it's filling up, isn't it? So if I put all of that lot... Where'd they go? That's interesting, it took them, but it hasn't put them anywhere. But what I don't get is that's... coming all into this. Why is it not... constantly filling this up? It's like... Right, let's do this, let's stop that one. This obviously is going to run out. Let this fill completely up. What's it doing right? Let's just do that. This thing can have these. Now, if we do. Let's see uh, what do it, I wonder. So that we can only carry one thing. So these all should backlog now. I'll just leave that to rumble because at some point we're going to need to upscale so we get more organics. Because these, um, should probably need it so. Everything's still working alright. 
Yep, we've got 60 combat ships it's sitting in there. That's mining. Right. Got a problem, Houston. That's not came back. So what's going on with it? Has it been destroyed or something? This don't bode well. Why is that destroyed? So stick a repairer on repair on this. Solve that problem so that is the snap full? No, this is slow, isn't it? Right, so what we've got to do now then is you want to add your extra four onto it. So one, two, three. If you can't get them all to fit, you'll have to just make it work. So that goes to there, that goes to there. This comes out to there. That goes to our junction. Actually get rid of that one. That one. I just stick it in a junction box. That comes out there. There's power on it. There. It says power, power, power. There you go, All right, so that should now supply those. This should be supplying that. I'm not sure why it's not. So one, two, three, four. That's got four going to it, this has got three, so this can stop that. This can rotate that way. Get rid of that. Rotate back up there. So as all this fills up, it'll replenish that one. Here they come. Excellent. So that's working as it should. Run there. That should start to go up. Oh, that's not good. Why is that on that? No, oh, this is now filling up a lot quicker. And as that's unloading, this these will all fill up, go to their max. So it should make it a lot quicker next time around. Need this to that full are we? Right, what I'll do is I'll exfil and then we'll see if it's gonna work. If I grab some of these, stay with that. This all works. So let's go in here just to make sure its orientation's right. Little ship comes. So that should turn around and sit into that. Well, that's the plan anyway. So either that one or that one. Yeah, it looks like 
if it's going to work. Yep, perfect. Now that will all unload into this. This thing gets put into that. That then feeds this. Oh, we did we had enough in the buffer, did we? Yeah. That little storage just helped. It was running dry though, but now we're back on production. And it's all working as it should. So how much is fitting in these? Yeah, this will fill up, but then it'll back off and slow to these. It just depends how much is sitting in these. The first one that I'll empty is this one. We've got loads. That'll sit there a while. Excellent. Right, now how's this uh, silicon asteroid doing? Still at 40,000, so I don't worry so much. Well, we've actually um, got a lot further now to do any of this research. We need the planetary research, which will be part of the next um, episode or part. But well done, everyone. We've got further along. Um, we've expanded our horizons. Of up to this silicon asteroid, this buxoid, and the planet. As you can see they're attacking these because they're spawning. Um, and the plan next time will be to get this planetary research going, unless I can do it whilst uh, I'm in between episodes. Um, we want to activate this as well. well. We've already activated it actually. We want to clear this out and get another metal miner going and ease this out a bit because once we get rid of the enemies um, providing we put a platform down over there or something they um, shouldn't keep spawning uh, but we'll see see how we go but uh, well done it's now time for me to uh, say goodbye and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode until then don't forget to like and subscribe and take it easy laters